okay guys today I'm going to show how to set up this problem for bullet impacting on a plate this is done with ANSYS explicit dynamics so I'll show how to set up and run this problem and the results I have shown here right now Okay, let's start with explicit dynamics. I will use this engineering data. I will use the materials. So for that, I will use explicit materials. Double click on this. Now you can see the different materials are there in ANSYS library I will use aluminium for a plate and steel for impacting plate so now I will just click on this you can see these two materials are here now I will close this engineering data. I have now imported materials in this project. Then now I will create the geometry. Okay, so geometry is open. Change the units to millimeter. Go to X Y plane. So. Just first create a plate, then extrude this plate for five mm generate. Then again sketch on this plane. We'll sketch a circle which is the diameter of this bullet and then extrude this to a distance of 10 mm so this is a bullet and plate now what I will do I will translate this bullet as it is touching to the plate so I'll translate it normal to this plane by a distance of 0.5 mm I will see there is a gap between these two so now this finishes the geometry now I will do I will generate a mesh and solve the problem Okay, now this is measure. I'll go to solid this plate and assign aluminium to it. And this is bullet. I assign steel for this bullet. Okay. The connections I am not going to modify. Generate a mesh, a default mesh will work. Okay, so this is the mesh. Now, for this bullet, I will give a velocity, velocity in Z direction, this is Z direction, so it will be minus 1500, it is 1500 meter per second, it's correct, 
so bullet will impact on this plate with 1500 meter per second and then I need to give in time for this solution so if we do the rough calculations 5 mm plate 1500 meter per second so it will take 4 microsecond to cross this plate without any resistance if we add the resistance of the plate we can say 20 microsecond we can put 20 microsecond is in time we can put safely and then to solve this problem just monitor solution progress with solution information now you see the solution time 3 microsecond 4 microsecond and this is the time step so wait till solution or wrap up time arrives it is 10 microsecond 15 and the final is 20 microsecond it is wrap up time reached I will just see the results insert deformation we will see the deformation but evaluate this result yes you can see now the bullet is penetrated this plate can animate from first time step you can see the bullet penetrating now if you see there is a lot of distortion uh, distortion of the elements elements are stretching a lot you can control all these things by modifying the material properties of this plate we will see all these things in that round uh, we can also see the stress the stress on this plate only evaluate results you can see how the stress waves are propagating just play this see the stress waves are propagating and then reflecting back they're interacting with each other so these are the interesting results you can see using this exit dynamic software so this is the end of the tutorial thanks for watching